we was talking before I was referencing you in a way that you've been in the game for a low shine parks in the building. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on? What's going on, sir? Uh, before, before, before you say something again, like I said, I was in the, uh, I was in the burning miles, uh, live stream when you was, you and that one guy was, I'm going to say conversating conversating <laughs> yeah that, i just that's kinda, what it was because I, I wasn't getting in no argument with him. <laughs> i kind of i kind of felt i kind of felt that he was trying to throw you under the bus mm -hmm. and and the way you the way you broke it down to him a lot of people don't understand businessman to businessman I, I I I run my roadside business. I had a couple of before I got into trucking, I had a couple of people that came in. Oh, okay, I want to help you out and all like that. See, if they don't see your vision, if they don't see your vision, they ain't gonna give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? You you over here trying to make you over here trying to start something and make something happen and you trying to bring people in you you call yourself helping them out but they don't want to help you out because all they doing is looking in they on the outside looking in oh well lockout man making all that money low shine is making all that money but they don't see the business side of it yo I gotta pay for I, I, I got to sit there and negotiate rates with all these with all these tow companies. I got another tow company that's telling that's telling my client, yo, I can tow your car for ten dollars. Lockout men, ERS lockouts. Can can you beat ten dollars? No, I can't beat ten dollars. Hell, if I fuck up that car, I ain't going to make up. No, I ain't going to make no money. So you got you got guys that want to come in and they they don't see your vision, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What do you got to say about that? Um, well, as far as like that situation went, I I feel like that turned into a, a situation where that individual felt like and that, and that like I said in burning mouse, not to disrespect that individual's money because. Mm -hmm. I know everybody's money is important to them, but at the same time, like, it's no way that, you know, what you putting in 10, 10 grand that you feel like we're, we're about to be 50, 50 on this shit. You know what I'm saying? We, we just not, you know what I mean? Um, it's an investment and, you know, you know, through, through the contract, that's what it is. And I just felt mm -hmm. like at, at, at a point in time, it's just started getting to the point with that individual that he felt like we were equals to 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 as in the business and right. it just that that was never the case and the whole objective was to be a silent investor and it didn't end up being a silent investor but nevertheless it was a learning lesson and i mean hey you know we move forward from it and i it just baffles me because we're going on almost two years and it still is a it's still a thing it's still a topic and it's like what the fuck you know what right. I mean? Like, oh, oh, <laughs> you got you got paid in whole. You know what I mean? You got your money back. You didn't lose anything, and this is still like this is causing you to lose sleep at night. I'm I'm confused, but whatever it is with that. What? But, what's your what now? Now, again, like I said, it's 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 only everybody's opinion as far as 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 far as how people is running they uh, should i would it be safe to say running your business now if if people if if youtube is your business and people have have some strong feelings about that so if you're how long you been in the game what just four five six years no nah, i'm on eight you're on eight years mm -hmm. you 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 struck you 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 struggle through the grind. I, I checked you out too because you know once you you started your YouTube channel, I've been rocking with you. You know from from the prime days all the way up to where you at now. You know I even I even know a couple of your drivers or your past drivers personally. 
You know what I'm saying? And they, you know, they told me that they rock out for you and all like that. Hell, at one point, at one point of my career, I was like, well, shit, let me go in and jump on him. He's a YouTuber like me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm, but for sure. But um, eight years, you grind, you grind for the game that you that that you learned. And now you're not out here talking how to how to slide tandems, how to how to get into trucking, how to how how to do this and how to do that. You is talking on a business aspect of it now. Right? Yeah, correct. Like you said, that that slide in tandem shit and what's the best company to go to, what's the best starter company to go to? That's I'm not saying that that's below me, but like that's the shit when y'all indicate that you can find on YouTube for free, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's given out right. everywhere. Like the right. shit, when you call me and you set up a consultation with me, we're not talking about sliding tandems and what company you should go to and what truck you should, you should uh, uh, ask for when you go to the carrier. And, and, and should I be making 25 cents a mile or 35? I'm not talking to you about that shit because once again, mm -hmm. that shit, you can find out a thousand videos on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, type, and that shit, type that shit in, type in, Type in, type in Prime and it's all over. <laughs> yeah. Type in Prime and it's it's all over. But what you, but what you're talking is where you came from, how to get the business, how you need to negotiate with with these contractors and clients, what you need to do, how much money you need, and all like that, right? Correct. I'm telling you about. The trials and tribulations that I went through. I'm also expressing to you when I what I did at this era or at this point in my career that cost me X amount of dollars for you to jump that hurdle instead of falling down in that ditch and costing you that. And then also I give you different different aspects and different uh, strategies on how to avoid pitfalls that's going to cost you a lot of money and how to elevate past that to continue your growth into making money so i'm not i'm not like i said i'm not when you call me you're we're not talking about sliding tandems and and how to straight line back and parallel none of that shit like because to me that's that, that shit you're going to learn along the way in, in trucking and you should learn that pretty much in your first year but more so this is the breakthrough how do i get from making fifty thousand? how do i get up to the six figures how do i get up to a hundred thousand how do i go from having one truck Maybe up to two, three trucks. What 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 is the proper process of doing it? Should I should I get all three of them at one time? Is that growing too fast, or how should I maneuver? When at what point should my money say for me to jump to the next truck is the best time to do it? So that's the conversations that I'm having when I'm on the phone with an individual, so that they can get their finances in order to be able to move to that next level in the industry. Okay, okay. Like I said, I. I, I don't have no I, I like I said I, I don't have no problem with that. Um I don't have no problem with that. But what do you say? But what do you say to people that that feel that you you generated a a a long following and I'm gonna use Brown as an example. He generated eighty thousand subscribers. So let's say Low Shine Parts has eighty thousand subscribers. Everybody was following you and all like that, and then up all of a sudden you change you changed up and you started charging people what what do you say to people about that are you well, alien are you are are you alienating your your followers by 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 charging them no i don't think it's alien it, 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 at some point in time it gets to a point in time that you start realizing your your value or your worth and like you like you had indicated you know it takes time to set up, up all this stuff and you know mm -hmm. after a while you coming out of your own pocket for equipment and you're trying to yeah. bring a show to these people right and here's right. the deal most of these shows that 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 are big time shows they don't charge people to call in you know why because they got fucking a, a million dollar sponsorship they don't mm -hmm. have to worry about taking your money because their sponsors is paying for them to do this so they get a check cut to them but if they weren't getting sponsorships you can believe your bottom dollar that their cash app would be up and they'll say, listen, you want to call in to support this channel, you're going to have to pay to get in here. But they don't need to offer that because their sponsors are paying for those callers to call in to do that. So that's where the difference lies in is because they're paying them or they're already getting a check cut to do that. And I think that the same way we go with 
Trucker Brown with yourself, with me, if we had a genuine sponsorship that said, listen, don't worry about collecting their money because we're going to pay you, then it, we wouldn't have a cash app or need to have a cash app up saying support the channel because we're getting back already from somebody else that's paying for y'all to be on the show. But since we don't have that and we are entrepreneurs, we're self-made, so th this, is the, this is the step that we have to take to do it. Now, whether you choose to pay to get in on the conversation or pay to be a part of that person's content, that, that's on you, okay? But at the same time, is it wrong for them charging to do that? Absolutely no, okay? But at the same time, don't get in your bag and be like, oh, they shouldn't be charging. Why shouldn't they? Everybody's time has a price on it, and, and it should. You shouldn't sell yourself short if your time doesn't have a price because then you, you're not valuing your time. And that's a problem at the end of the day. Because like I said in, in, in the, uh, what's called it? Ain't none of us running none of these motherfucking loads for free. Ain't, ain't none of these companies, you gonna jump in that truck and that company gonna say, listen, since you don't value your time, neither do we. So uh, how about you just run this load for free? And what you gonna say? It don't work that way. You gonna pay me for my time and my work to do the job for y'all. Because if that was the case, every truck driver out here would be driving it because it's, you know, a hobby for them and nobody's doing this shit for how you doing this to get a check period in the day i i just think i i just i just think that i i just think they probably just see see it as that you guys is just alienate y'all 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 subscribers y'all um y'all followers you know i just think they just feel that people was 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 loyal to you guys for a long period of time and then you know y'all just flip the script and you know y'all just say hey you know you you, you want to fuck with me you want to fuck with me you want to get in get in and all like that you gotta you gotta pay you gotta charge you gotta gotta charge my issue like i said my issue and let me let me speak on uh uh truck and review channels uh comment right quick he says every he says everything everything is your business if you if you follow my path ever follow my path ever hot every hobby is a money go that's that's true that's true every every hobby every hobby turns into a it turns into a money go a lot of hobbies do that's why it was it it was a hobby for uh that that antique store they was collecting they was collecting as a hobby and now they put a store up on the internet and now they, you know, they self-made, you know, they self-made making money from a hobby. And same thing, mm -hmm. you know, and that reverts back to me because like I said, I do this, I do this for a hobby. You know what I'm saying? I like doing it. My money, my money comes from driving this truck. I get paid well, you know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't mind making, making my content a little bit better i was the one that start i was the one that said yo let me go on here get a get a soundboard i want my voice to sound better you know of course i went on the youtube and i started doing my homework and seeing everybody's talking about how the sound is important yada 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 i did i i went in the beginning i, I went in the beginning and i was like yo hook a brother up you know i'm trying to make the channel better for you guys but i wasn't i wasn't getting no i wasn't getting you know, no love. I mean, I was getting love from a few people, and thank you very much for that. I really do appreciate it. But still, you know, that soundboard was six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars after taxes, and I only got like thirty. I only got like thirty-two dollars from from the people. All right, well, I put that thirty-two dollars. Thank you, and then the rest of that money came from me. All right, cool. Boom. I said I wanted a better mic. I said I wanted a better mic. The better mic that Joe Rogan used is the sm7b i went on i came on my channel like yo I'm, I'm about to get the better mic so the sound so the sound could be a little bit better you know what i'm saying hook a brother up you know what i'm saying support the channel you know don't don't get super chat me <laughs> don't super chat me I, i'm not going to get that money youtube going to get that money hook me up through paypal or through the cash app now you know what i'm saying i used to i used to fuck heavy with paypal but Cash App makes everything easy. Out of that little, out of that little, I say I got fifty dollars. 
All right. Thank you very much. I do appreciate the donation. Took that fifty dollars, put it towards that five hundred dollar mic. The rest of the money came out of my pocket. You see what I'm saying? It's not. It's it's to me, to me, it's 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 not that serious. But I understand. You see what I'm saying? I understand why some people do it. You know, let's take Trucker Brown's for Trucker Brown for instance. He's not monetized. We could say shit, fuck, damn, fuck you, uh, pussy. You know, go to the moon, bitch. You know what I'm saying? YouTube ain't gonna pay for his shit. You know, so I'm good with that. You know, but you also keep out the rhetoric too because. Back then, when I used to have people call in, I used to have my phone number up, call in 216-600-2090. Then you got motherfuckers coming in talking about, yo, uh, uh, I want to talk about donuts and donuts is good. And I'm like, bro, we ain't talking about no fucking donuts. We talking about a missing driver over here. You know what I'm saying? The the young lady was on and I was doing the live feed. She was telling about, you know, her brother been missing for X amount of X amount of days and all like that. And we over here looking for you over here calling in on some fucking donuts, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to say nigga. My bad. But um, but yeah, that that alleviates all of that shit. So I I get what he's doing. And again, I don't think. I don't think she, you know, she has a problem or an issue with that. It's just her opinion about charging as a whole. You talking about from you talking about shape, bro? Yeah. Uh. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So that's I wanted to really talk with her when you when you had her on because the thing that that kind of like made me raise an eyebrow is when she was like. You know, you shouldn't be charging. Look at the times that we going through right now. You know, and I wanted to let her know, like, boo. Yeah, COVID that season. You know COVID I mean? season, a, bro. COVID don't season. <laughs> no, a, lot of, okay. a, lot of, a lot of truckers is out of work, bro. Bro, hey, a lot, listen. A lot, of, a lot of truckers is out of work, man. We we laid off and shit. We, we're out of work, man. I don't know what to tell you. The, dr the truck driver that's laid off and out of work, they don't want to work. You know how many companies out here right now is hiring? Like that, and when you got a CDL in your pocket, like you, they hiring everywhere. It's, I mean, because freight still needs to move this country, so that's not that's not even a problem with a driver. If you lose a job as a CDL holder, you should have a job lined up pretty much within a week. If you have a problem having a job lined up within a week, you have a bad record. Okay, that's 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 pretty much what it boils down to. You didn't hit a few things. You didn't, you got you got a ton of points on your CDL. That's why companies really ain't take you. But let's be honest here. There's over thousands of trucking companies out here that you can go and get on with. You know, everybody ain't telling you no. And and if you look on on Indeed, there's the CL trucking companies that are looking for drivers right now, all over the place. So, you know, that's that's I don't buy that excuse. You know what I mean? And then to to what really like kind of was like I shape this really that don't really make sense to me is that okay so. You telling us that we shouldn't be charging, or if an individual wants to charge, we shouldn't charge because of the times and the days and times that it is right now with COVID. Well, explain that to these Fortune 500 companies, or explain that to the 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 leasing company if you're leasing a truck and say, hey, "Listen, man, bro, it's COVID 19. Y'all, you know, I, I shouldn't have to make a truck payment, right? They're gonna look at you like you, right? You don't gotta make one." we'll come get the truck. Don't worry about it. We'll repo it. So, you know, they're not trying to hear that. Or or explain that to a company as being a company driver saying, yo, it's COVID-19 times right now. Uh, I need a couple more dollars on top of this, you know, on top of this. Because it's a struggle, right? You, you think these companies are going to say, you, you're right, it's a struggle. We're about to get your raise. They're not trying to hear that shit. So it's like that don't validate because of how the economy is going or the pandemic that that's happening that individuals are supposed to get a pass like that just mm -hmm. it don't happen like it, it just don't so i just that that part about what shape world said i just i can't agree with because so you don't ask that from the company that you work for are they gonna give you a pass I, hey yo look don't take your insurance out this month i need my insurance but i can't afford to pay for my insurance sorry it, it don't work that way you know what i'm saying that's not gonna happen so 
that really struck me really like kind of like all right shape that really don't make a lot of too much sense that about that and then as far as she was saying towards her closing statement where she was like yeah uh you know these are you know people that has been loyal to you and you didn't charge before and all this and the third well yeah you probably didn't charge early in your stages because you're still in your learning phase right so <laughs> you was you was still kind of learning the industry a little bit you wasn't really really confident at that point to be given valuable information out to where it should be charged for and here's the thing there's no loyalty on this youtube let's be honest here and if anybody believes that there's loyalty in youtube they're, they're fucking lying to themselves subscribers don't they come and go okay <laughs> the shit is they come and go right okay as soon as you piss one off they could have been loyal to you for years they gonna leave and, and stop watching your channel then they're gonna go somewhere else and talk to you about you that's just how the, that's how the shit works right hey Lo, how, how, it, how much how, how much longer you got to rock out i got the the truck and review channel in uh in the queue how, how much longer you no, got no, to rock out no, i'm just i'm close this out i appreciate you having me on your show um but i'm, I'm gonna close it out and the part that i was gonna finish off and say that if there was any loyalty then why is it when people go through divorces? <laughs> <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Why is it when you go through a fucking divorce, they coming for all your fucking money? You feel me? So we're like, IRS damn, what a loyalty is, is that? Coming. The IRS they coming for your money. Coming. Yes. So ain't, yes, ain't no loyalty because when, when it's a divorce, she want half. And she exactly. ain't, she, and like Rick Ross said, <laughs> you wasn't, or like Drake said, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. Oh, she wasn't with me shooting in the gym but she won't have for that shit. You, you understand you know what hold, hold on low i i, I want to add something to that let me hold on right quick uh truck and review channel give me a hot more give me a couple of more minutes and i'm about to finish up a low and i'll bring you right in you you heard me can you hear me yeah i'm still here no 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 truck and review channel can you hear me okay check can, can you hear me i don't think you can hear me can you hear me Check, check, check. Can you hear 10 me? Four. There you go. Hey, give me about yeah, give four. me about yeah. give me about five more minutes and I'll bring you right in. All right. Yes, I can hear you. All right. Give me yeah. about five more. Give me about five more minutes. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, okay, we got oh, okay. The yes. <laughs> uh, you must be on the loop. Yeah. <laughs> All right, give me yeah, five minutes. Five minutes. All right. So low man, listen, listen. <laughs> I got listen. I got what you. I I got what you're saying. Um, I want to. <laughs> they they the, the IRS is coming after you, bro. They they they, they coming after you, man. Um, again, like I said, the game is to be sold, not to be told, man. If you got the game, if you got the game, and 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 you feel that it's worth, let me interject back on to what I was saying when I was on on uh this past saturday as far as when i was talking about rvt now back then i had an issue he was like i said he was six months in the game a year same stuff that he was saying we could find out on on the internet now i agree the man now like i said i respect this hustle now four year four years later shit yeah his shit is valuable now he did fresh sand he did uh he did fresh sand he did the ups and the and the fedex thing you know what i'm saying so the game that he generated throughout the years it might be some valuable to somebody and my respect off my hat and respect off to him for doing that so i just want to clarify where i was coming from when i was saying what i said and all like that but much love to you, man. I, I really do appreciate you coming on and uh chopping it up with me, man. I hope we can uh I hope we can do it again. I just hope that all of us look, man. I, I just hope that all of us uh come together and just res you may not like me, but you're gonna respect me. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's what I want. That's that's what I want. I want all of us to be respected. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 all it is. For sure. I appreciate you having me on your on your channel, man. Much respect, much love. Keep on what you do. Um, from entrepreneur to another entrepreneur, man. Keep the hustle going, man. I appreciate you, man. Thanks a lot, bro. Low shine right, parks, brother. everybody. Searching, searching, searching.
searching, searching and searching, searching, searching.